Even though HouseFresh focuses mainly on air purifiers in the US, I do live in England. The accent might have given it away. Now I recently joined Costco and the first thing I did was buy all of the air purifiers that they had for sale here. But today we're gonna to be reviewing this device, the Winx Zero SE. Now, if you don't wanna watch my full review, here are the five things I like about this device and the three things I don't. So the first one is performance. It did really well at removing PM1 in our test room. It only took 19 minutes, which is great considering the price. And even when we tested it running at speed three, which is much quieter, easier on the ears, it still performed very well. The other thing I like is the design itself, similar to the WinX 5500 II, it has a removable pre-filter and this just makes it a lot easier to maintain the device. You take this out, clean it and put it back in. Now the filters themselves, the big thing I really like is the fact that the particle filter and the gas filter are separate. So that means that if the carbon runs out, which it likely will run out much before the particle filter, you just change that out and you still go. And it means there's less e-waste, less cost. Now talking about the filters, so the OEM filters for this device are some of the cheapest filters we've seen. And there's a ton of generic filters out there because the same filters will work across a lot of different WinX devices. Now the things I don't like. So the first one is, it's not a very smart device. So if you want to have app support, it doesn't have anything like that. It has an auto mode, but that's about it. It also uses plasma wave, which is an ionization technique that some consumers might not appreciate, but you can just switch it off with the press of a button. And finally, there's an issue with the handle itself. So when you lift the device up, it kind of it moves forward a little bit like that. It just makes it a little bit more challenging to move around the house. And I didn't see the same issue in devices like the WinX 5500 too. So it is, just this device, the Winx Zero S and SE. Right, let's jump into the full review. Now, as with all of the devices we test here at HouseFresh, I bought this with my own money. Now, I paid £149.99p from Costco.co.uk, um, but it's generally found for a little bit more between £180 to £200, and it's readily available with a number of retailers in the UK and Europe. So that's why I'm really keen to review this device. Now this is pretty much the same device as the Winx Zero S, but it has a slightly different color and is unique to Costco. So sometimes you can find it for a much lower cost. If you've seen my reviews before, you'll know that the first thing I like to look at is if there is an association of home appliance manufacturers KDAR score. Now Winx is really good because they send all of their devices to AHAM and like these devices, it has good KDAR scores for the price. So let's look at the design of this device. So it's very similar to the 5500 II and 5300 II. It's rectangular in design. It has uh, the main inlet where it pulls air from inside of the room to clean through the filters at the front and then clean air comes out the top of the device. Now I'm gonna switch on the device to show you the, the key functions that it has. So we've got the on off mode. Uh, as standard, it will come onto the auto mode and then you have functions of different fan speeds. So we have one, two, three, four, and sleep mode. And then we have the plasma wave on or off. The only other feature is that it will alert you when the filters need changing, but that's about it. So there's no timers like we see with other brands like Lavoie. This is a fairly simple device. Now at the top of the device, you have the air quality sensor, which allows the auto mode to come on when the device detects the changes in pollutants in the room. Let's jump into the exciting part. How well did the Winx Zero SE do at removing particles in our test room? So we test all of our air purifiers and we've tested now over 80 air purifiers in the same room measuring 728 cubic feet. We light an intense smoke to fill the room with particulates and then we track the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10 with two purple air sensors, one indoor and one zen. We even record this so you can see the test for yourself. Now in our test, according to the purple air indoor sensor, this device managed to remove all PM1 pollutants in 19 minutes, which is impressive considering its price but also isn't surprising considering it shares a KDAR certificate with the Winx 5502, which also removed all PM1 pollutants in 19 minutes. Now we can compare these results to other devices we've tested. In the table I've just showed you, I included many devices that you can find in the UK. And it's very interesting to see out of all those devices, it's very hard to find the same level of performance you get with this device for less than 200 pound. Whilst air cleaning performance is the main thing you should look for when looking for an air purifier, it's not the only thing. 
If an air purifier is great at cleaning the air, but it's so loud you can't bear to hear it, then you're unlikely you're going to want to use it and you might find family members end up switching it off. Which is why we use a sound meter at three feet away to see how much sound an air purifier generates at each of its fan speeds. And here are the results for the WinX Zero SE. But feel free to have a listen for yourself. We also compared these sound levels with other devices we've tested that have similar levels of performance and are available in the UK. As you can see in the table, the WinX Zero SE fits in the middle of the devices that we've tested. So it was quieter than the Miko and the Philips devices, but was still a little louder than the Lavoie and Blue Air devices. One of the reasons I suggest that most people get bigger devices like this air purifier is that the higher KDAR can mean that you can use the device at lower fan speeds. So for the WinX Zero SE, fan speed 3 is 43.3 decibels, which is lower than the 45 decibels that the Clean Air Stars tool suggests for noisy classrooms or noisy offices. And this is likely a sound that you could put up with hearing every day. So I made sure to test this device running at speed 3 in our test room. And the results were very good. At speed 3, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in 34 minutes. And we can compare this to other devices we've tested. So looking at the table, we can see that the WinX Zero SE does really well compared to other devices we've tested. It is beaten by the very large high KDAR devices like the Smart Air Blast Mini or the Philips 3000i. But when compared to other devices with similar dimensions and similar sizes, this device does really well when you consider the level of sound it produces. Now, if you do really want the quietest air purifier you can get, then you have to go for the PC Fan DIY kit. What about the filters for this WinX Zero SE? So, as I mentioned, this removable pre-filter, which I, we have tested devices with dirty pre-filters and it really can reduce performance by 40%. So it is something you have to keep on top of. The first thing we have is the carbon filter. So these are the WinX A-type. So they use this impregnated fabric uh, carbon, which you have to change every three months. And then we have the particle filter itself. I mentioned in the introduction, but I do really appreciate having separate gas and particle filters. I wish every brand would do this because carbon filters generally will get used up more often than the particle filter. And if they're bonded together, like you see with Lavoie and many other brands, you have to throw the whole thing away. This means you have a lot more waste going to landfill, and also it's gonna cost you more because you're gonna be replacing particle filters when you might not need to. So this is uh, defined as HEPA H13 on the WinX uh, website. Now, what's interesting about this device is that on their website, they showed a slightly different carbon filter. And it was a little bit confusing, so I reached out to WinX to ask them, you know, which is the filters that would go with this device. And on a quick phone call with them, they mentioned that the WinX Zero S should have H filters, not the A type filters. Now, the H filters, if you've watched my review of the WinX 5502, are slightly different. And I'm just going to grab them out here so you can see the carbon is different. So if we compare this carbon filter to the impregnated here, you can see a big difference material. And what's interesting is that when I spoke to the guys at Winex, they said, yeah, you can, you can use the H. And as you can see here, it's exactly the same size. So this will fit in the same device. I'm gonna actually put this back in the device so you can see for yourself. When you come to change the filters on this device, you're not restricted by choosing just the A, you can go for the H and, and choose the one that makes sense for you. Another thing to consider is the amount of energy that an air purifier uses. If it's too inefficient and you leave it running continuously, you might be shocked by the increase in electricity bill you see. So that's why for every test and review we do here at HouseFresh, we use an energy meter to see how much energy is used at each fan speed. And here are the results for this device. Considering the high KDAR of this device, the amount of energy that it used is fairly efficient. So we can assume that the fan motor in this device is an efficient motor. Now, if you were to run this device continuously 24 hours a day and paid American energy prices, it would cost you $55.29 in energy bills. And we can compare this to other devices that we have tested. 
Looking at the comparisons with other devices, this is very much in line with other devices with similar levels of air cleaning performance. But let's have a look at how much energy is used at speed 3. When looking at energy usage when running at the lower fan speeds, it's clear that this device has a good ratio when you consider sound to air cleaning performance. It is still beaten by the very large devices and the PC fan kits, but compared to many of the other HEPA retail devices on the market, this one stands out. Another cost to consider when looking at the running cost of an air purifier is replacement filters. Any air purifier that uses mechanical filters like HEPA or activated carbon will need them changing eventually, as they become so embedded with all the pollutants they become ineffective. Now Winnex recommends for this device to change the filters every 12 months, and in that 12 months you'll change the particle filter and the carbon filters, they'll be need changing every 3 months and there's 4 of them included. Now a packet of OEM filters with 1 particle filter and 4 carbon costs £59.99 and p and $47.15 if you're in the USA. Now this does mean that this device has some of the cheapest OEM filters that we've tested. It's worth noting before we compare running costs with other devices we've tested that Winex actually gives you an extra year's worth of filters in the box and I'm not seeing this in any brand and I really appreciate Winex doing it so you won't need to start paying for this device until you hit that third year. Now let's compare the running costs of this device with other devices we've tested. As you can see in the table, the only devices that really compete with this and are cost you less to run are the DIY PC fan kits, which use HVAC filters, which makes a lot of sense, and also the Philips 3000i. Now, one of the reasons why the Philips 3000i has such low running costs is because Philips says that you only have to change the filter on this device every three years. And I don't think that's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna investigate it further, but it's just worth noting that in case you're wondering why. As I said earlier in the review, for this particular device, the Winx Zero SE and the Winx Zero S, you could actually use Class A filters or Class H filters, which means there's tons of generic options available because these filters are used with some very popular devices like the 5502, 5302, C545, 555. The list is endless of Winx devices that use these filters, so there's a lot of market demand for replacement filters, so there's tons of third parties who make filters for this device. And the filters can go as low, even in the UK, as £20 per year for a full set of filters, including the particle filter and the carbon filters, which honestly is the cheapest I've seen without going down the route of buying HVAC filters uh, like you get with like the CR boxes and the PC fan kits. So is this Winx Zero SE, Winx Zero S worth it in 2024? Well, if you're like me and you can't get access to something like the Winx 5502, then this device allows you to get the same level of performance and access to all those filters like the activate, washable activated charcoal filters that you can get with the Winx 5502. Now, some downsides is that it isn't smart, so you don't get the app features like you find with Philips or Lavoie, but you do get the removable pre-filter, which makes it much easier to stay on top of maintenance. I really like how cheap it is to buy and the fact that Winx throws in a full set of filters with the device means you don't have to pay for replacements until year three. So it really is one of the cheapest, most effective devices in the UK market right now. Anyway, as always, let me know in your comments if you've got one of these devices or you have any questions about this device that I can answer and I'll see you in the next video.